snagged one. You got one? Yeah, I like, snagged it in the side. He must have gone for it and then popped off or something, but kind of a coolie. All right, hooked up in 181 feet of water. Sun even sun isn't even up yet. Sun rises at uh, 5:59 today. But I can tell. Got one. I'm gonna fill it while it's filled. Got a barracuda. <laughs> That's what I call a big barracuda. Stinger hook got him. What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome out here to another episode of Flying Fish TV. Today we're fishing out of Pokai Bay out on Oahu's west side. Uh, right now I'm in 200 feet of water. We've got a live bait out. Launched at 4.05 this morning, went out, uh, caught some Akuli. I caught seven of them, uh, gave two of them away, and then came out here looking for some Opelu. I caught two smaller Opelu. Um, on the way out to catch the Opelu uh, is when I hooked into that, uh, that pretty big barracuda. I'm gonna head towards uh, offshore of Miley, uh, zigzagging between 150 and 250 feet of water. Okay, we're gonna put the second Akule in. So I'm double hooked up right now in 192 feet of water. I'm getting pulled in multiple directions. Like, one of them feels way bigger. I really hope I don't flip over. I, I don't know yet.
right now. No, I'm good now, I think so. I had so much line out. <laughs> this feels a lot bigger than that Kava Kava. Maybe a Shibi. It's got the head shakes for it. It hit on wire. All right. I'm into my 150 feet of line right now. It's a tuna. The bigger tuna bit on uh, a coule on the wire rig and it had tons of time to run so I'm pretty sure it swallowed it. Still taking line if I let it. Might as well just let it Pull me around for a while, tire itself out. It's gotta be a Shibi. A yellowfin tuna. The bigger fish I have on right now, a bit of Kool-Aid, the, uh, the Kava Kava ate a Pelu. Drifting out to sea, uh, 295 now feet of water. Fish is down at 120 right now. It's not fighting quite as hard. The uh, that initial run must have tied it out some. I'm just boosting it in now. Good thing I caught that smaller fish first. Okay, down at 100 feet now, and I can tell that based on the fish finder. It's fighting straight up and down. 50 feet now. I'm glad I'm going out to sea because if I was drifting into shallower water, it'd get near the bottom and that's how you how you end up having sharks chase it. Oh, there's the leader. It's shiny. Can't tell what it is yet, but it's fighting just like a tuna. That's a Shibi. Man, just barely with the stinger hook right there. Hook came out just like that. Oh, 
I'm headed back in towards the ledge. Uh, I've got another Akuli out on wire, the live goggle eye. And once I get closer to the ledge, 200 feet or so, I'll put that other Apelu out. Been lucky enough to not catch one of these in a while. This was on a dead bait rig that I was trying to get just close to the bottom, trying to find maybe a, an uku or something like that. Which, this could be an uku. I really wasn't expecting to catch anything else today. Color down there. Got pretty good head shakes. <laughs> Whatever it is. Right. It looks short and flat. Maybe a GT or even a Kagami. African Pompano, big Kagami. Man, that is, that's a cool fish. Another great day on the water, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.